Hello there, my name is Ismas. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 tutorial. So this time we're going to be making this scene here, bed scene here. Uh, but uh, instead of uh, modeling the entire thing in one go, I'm going to be breaking down, breaking this down in two different tutorials. Uh, so we're going to be making this uh, bed in this tutorial, in this part, and then maybe another part we're going to be making this uh, table, then uh, the dresser, then uh, the bag, uh, the pillows. Uh, the curtains, window, and uh, everything in a different tutorial. So that is their short and uh, easier to watch. Uh, yes, so, but uh, today I don't feel like uh, explaining every step that I'm going to be doing here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be make, talking about uh, selling 3D models a bit and maybe other things. Uh, yeah, because I, I've been explaining this for, um, I've, I've explained uh, the every part I'm going to be doing here uh, a lot of times. So, uh, so for the bed sheet, uh, for this bed cover or whatever you want to call it, duvet or whatever, uh, we are not going to use a cloth simulator. We are just going to model this directly uh, instead of using uh, the, uh, the physics simulator because uh, it will take us a lot of iterations to, a lot of simulation iterations uh, to get the shape we want. That's the problem with uh, using uh, simulations is that you can't really, you don't really have full control over the final look of uh, the mesh uh, so you would have to rel you have to rely on uh, different techniques and t and uh, that takes a lot of time and uh, if you look at uh, the uh, the duvet itself or the cover itself it does it's not that detailed it doesn't have a lot of wrinkles uh, so we can get away with just modeling these these wrinkles and that will also greatly reduce the polygon count of our mesh <coughs> and uh, and and uh, in uh, when you're simulating this in in a cloth simulator, you would have to to bump up the subdivision, which will increase the polygon count. So let's get down to it and uh, get started. I'm going to start by making this bed frame here, and uh, yeah. So let's get to it. Yeah. So let's talk about selling 3D models on uh, online. So. <coughs> So my main source of income right now, uh, if you're wondering, is uh, I'm a web developer, and uh, I have so for about two months, I think about a month or two, I just give myself a break from that uh, to see how uh, my uh, to see if I can if I could grow my YouTube channel and uh, maybe my CG Trader account uh, where I sell my most of my 3D models and. Uh, to see if it could replace if it's a viable option for as a source of income as a, an extra source of income and the way things are going i think it's actually more viable than uh, my current job uh, uh is i'm not making more than uh, still i'm still making more money as a web developer than uh 3d mod making 3d models and everything uh because uh, i've just started the uh, the channel is about two years or three i don't know i don't remember but uh, i've just seriously started doing this uh around november or october uh, so but uh i think i'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of progress uh we go to uh a thousand uh subscribers uh i think about in less than a month ago and uh, we already we're almost getting to 2000 subscribers so i really appreciate that thank you guys for getting me there and uh, i finally also got my youtube channel monetized about uh, three days ago and uh yes yeah, so there is good progress and uh, maybe i thought i could share it with you about how it got there and uh, the different ways you could maybe try to do that if you're interested in uh, doing that of course uh, so but uh, today mainly i wanted to talk about uh, selling 3d models and the different options you have so again with with uh, selling 3d models i started doing that seriously around the same time i started uploading blender tutorials on uh, youtube which is about a month ago and i'm also getting some progress there so it's things are looking good to say to say the least and uh, and let me add a bevel here the reason i'm adding this bevel is to just make these corners a bit rounded off and uh, usually the 
bevel width that works here is around it's always hard to get the right bevel width. I think it's because of the different scale uh, that I'm using here. So let's let me try two. Yeah, so around that, apply scale and rotation. Um, I'm even forgetting what I was talking about. Uh, extrude this. Yes, so selling 3D models. So, so I have been selling 3D models on uh, Turbo Squid and uh, CG Trader, uh, but I wouldn't recommend Turbo Squid to anyone. Like seriously, wouldn't. Uh, because of a few reasons uh, that I have about that site. It's a very shitty site in my opinion and uh, I'm not the only one complaining about it I think. So the first reason is that uh, so uh, when I was starting out I was looking for a good site where I could sell uh, my models. Uh, I was looking for a good site where I could uh, sell my 3D models and uh, I had used both as sites before and actually selling 3d models is the reason why i even got back to a uh, blender uh, because about i think two or three years ago i did a model and uploaded it on both a uh, cg trader and turbo squid and forgot about it and then it sold i think uh, a month ago after I had forgot about it uh, for quite a while. So I got an, an email from CG Trader at, that notified me that uh, my model had sold. And I was surprised because I, it was not that good. Uh, the amount of detail uh, that was in on that. And uh, back then I was just uh, learning. So I was surprised when it sold. But uh, it so when it sold, I, I, I decided maybe to just throw up a few more models and see how they were doing. And uh, they sold, so the last model I sold took about, I think, I don't know, two years to sell. So then I uploaded another one just to see what would do, what would happen. And it sold about two days after. And uh, I was really surprised. So as I, I priced it at around $5. Uh, that's, why, that's the range I, I priced my models. Uh, did. Just to make sure that uh, they sell uh, faster. And uh, I can also just see why they sold, uh, get some analytics, see some numbers, and uh, see where to improve, and uh, just get an idea of why they sell how they sold and uh, the feedback that uh, I, any feedback that I get from clients. Uh, so that, because I'm still learning, uh, I'm still learning and uh, I just lack that information. So pricing them really low allows me that, uh, that chance of getting feedback from clients and uh, understanding why uh, they're buying the models, uh, getting some numbers and it, whenever you sell, it also helps your account uh, to get more noticed uh, by uh, the, uh, the platform uh, algorithms. Yeah, so if you're trying to sell 3D models, try to price them uh, low so that you can get an idea of how things work. So yeah, I was, try I was still explaining. Add a, mi add a mirror. Yes, set origin here, shift S, cast set selected, and then uh, object origin, 3D cursor. Yes, so I am forgetting what I was packing now, what I was saying again. Yes, so the reasons why I don't recommend uh, Turbo Squid, uh, reason number one. So 
when I was beginning, I was I put up the same models on Turbo Squid and CG Trader to see what uh, which platform was selling best. And the first <laughs> issue that I ran into is that a uh, uh, Turbo Squid, the way you upload things on Turbo Squid is really uh, a lot of work, and uh, the the requirements the requirements for uploading are also a mess. It's just a lot of requirements. So, and uh, you can't, you can only, it's, you can only upload multiple files. So, say you have a lot of files in your project. Say you have textures, you have uh, different formats. Say you have uh, a Cinema 4D format, you have a 3D Max format, you have an OBJ format, and you want to upload all of those at once. Uh, if you're using Turbo Squid, uh, you'll find that uh, you can't uh, select everything at once uh, and upload it there at once in in uh, Chrome. You can do that in uh, in uh, what in uh, in Mozilla, but you can't do it in Chrome. And uh, they don't really give you a, a clear explanation why you can't do that, and uh, they don't even tell you uh, that you can't do that. And uh, so I spent most of my time trying to upload. Uh, the, the models once one by one and uh, so it's just simply bad user interface that's there was no explanation so it took me a while to realize that uh, I could only upload multiple files in uh, uh, in if I'm if I was using uh, Mozilla which is shitty because there is no reason why I shouldn't be able to do that in uh, in a different uh, browser, uh, in all browsers, because with CG, with CG Trader you can do that with uh, with any browser. You can, I use Chrome, I use uh, Mozilla, and they all work the same. You just drag and drop, and everything goes. And uh, the other thing about the uploader is with about CG Trader uploader. By the way, I'm not sponsored in any way. I'm just telling you my experiences, uh, so that if you encounter the same issues, you know. Uh, you, 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 you have an idea of how to deal with them. Let me put on some music here. You have an idea of how to deal with those issues. Uh, so I couldn't down upload uh, the models on Turbo Squid uh, in Chrome by selecting all files and then uploading them at once. So that increased uh, the amount of time it would take me to upload a model. And uh, so when I found out that I could use Cro oh, Mozilla, so I s then I switched to Mozilla and then uh, that was uh, that was okay, that was good enough. But uh, uh, then again, when you're uploading models on Turbo Squid, you have you have to upload uh, the models, the model files, the project files, separately from the textures, separately from the preview images. So you just have to click, uh, make a lot of clicks to upload one single model. You have to type in a lot of things. And uh, if you're uploading a lot of models like me, then it's kind of, it becomes a lot of work. Uh, so that's one reason, but it's not, uh, the break, the deal break, it wasn't the uh, deal, deal breaker for me. Uh, the, deal, the deal breaker for me was uh, when it came to revenue share. So I uploaded the same models. I, th I think I've said this like seven times now on Turbo Squid and, uh, <laughs> and CG Trader. But uh, when, it come when it came to selling the 3D models, uh, the same models, same pricing, uh, maybe uh, CG Trader usually uh, runs promotions, uh, so your models can sell for a discount less than what they would sell on uh, Turbo Squid, uh, which also added to another reason why I, I actually hate uh, Turbo Squid now is that uh, the revenue share. So I sold, I think, about so they, what they do. In your account, in your CG, in your Tabo, both CG Trader and uh, Tabo Squid account, they usually show you 
uh, what the model sold for and uh, your commission how much you're getting and uh, how much CG trader is going and is going to take as their commission and uh, which is okay because that's how uh, everything runs I understand that and uh, every pr platform does that they, they need to make money they need to pay uh, uh, their their employees they need to pay for the advertisement because they do advertise uh, the models for you and uh, get the clients <coughs> but uh, their revenue share is really uh, bad so I made about in sales I sold uh, about thirty dollars in models uh, so the total amount I sold in was thirty dollars on Turbo Squid, but uh, my revenue share was about four. I think it was about four or three dollars. I don't know, and some cents. So, which is kind of ridiculous. You can't tell me that I, I sold thirty dollars in. I made thirty dollars in sales, and then I was, I I only made about. Uh, I only made about four four or three dollars and some cents so it's yeah and uh you maybe you you could say that uh uh the uh they are doing a lot of promotions there uh, that they, they're taking a lot of uh the share they're taking are uh, they using it to pay their employees they are using that to pay uh advertisements and what but uh, the same models sold on CG trader are uh, around the same amount thirty dollars but uh, the commission I was able to make from that was about twenty twenty dollars or something it was the difference was really big that uh, I couldn't you can't really justify uh, any that difference uh, you would say that uh, maybe Turbo Squid did more promotion uh, than uh, CG Trader, but uh, I was getting around the same amount of sales for the same models in the same amount of period in the same period of time, and uh, I think I sold more models on CG Trader. But uh, their revenue, my cut was way more than uh, what I was getting on Turbo Squid. So it can't be that uh, they were promoting, they using, they were using the money to promote uh, uh, the models. So they're just taking more than I think they need to. They have to, or they should be taking. Uh, so I guess that's one reason I'm not going to be uploading any models on Tumble Squid. Uh, but uh, uh, because even their requirements are just uh, ridiculous. Uh, maybe not ridiculous, but. Uh, they are unnecessary. I don't know if this helps anyone, but uh, I guess I've explained these steps uh, quite a lot uh, that I don't feel like explaining myself over and over again. So you will have to forgive me if this is not important to you. If you are not interested in selling 3d models but i I, f I feel like that there are a lot of people who might be interested in this and uh, it's it's a that's why i think i should be sharing this uh, bridge faces okay now we need to make these straight I don't know if you can hear my PC noise uh, through the microphone uh, because I had I had to add an extra fan. It was getting too warm, too too hot inside there. So that is why, if you hearing any noise, it might be from that.
I need this to be on the same level as this. Again, you don't have to be as detailed as as me, but um, it doesn't hurt either. I don't think I'm even being as detailed as most models are, but uh, I guess we can start working on this bed. So let's first add a mattress. I also turn on random colors here. can also add a sub sub subdivision surface. Uh, let's first apply the rotation and scale. Add supporting uh, loops in different corners. And we have the mattress like that, like that. I can also add a loop. You know what? Instead of adding supporting uh, loops like that, we can select all the edges and then shift, control shift B, uh, control B to bevel the loops and add and make sure you have three loops like that. Let's first isolate this bed. This, uh, we can select, I guess, this loop. Which one should we select? Let's see if we add another one next. Uh, we can just select this loop here that goes around like this. And bevel this, control B. Uh, reduce the polygon count, the resolution to two. Then you can use extrude along normals and extrude a ring that would go around the entire bed. So we can also bring this down a bit like that. And uh, if you want, you can add another loop there. Use Alt S to, uh, to Move this along the normals and maybe move it down a bit. So we have that going around uh, the mattress. You can just add a loop here, then delay the bottom part. We will use a mirror modifier for that in the Y, Z. Yes, Z. Uh, maybe we can uh, also <coughs> select this face, <coughs> pull it down. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. We can just select isolate this first delete this then select this face extrude that turn on clipping delete those faces and now we can uh, bridge 
with his faces. This is not really necessary since uh, you, this cover is going to be covering the entire thing, but sometimes if you want to maybe change this a bit and uh, make these uh, not well, the bed not well made, uh, maybe a half of the bed sheet is covering uh, just the mattress, but not all of it, uh, you might need uh, that detail there. You can also inflate this bed a bit by scaling this out a bit like that. Uh, the subsurface needs to be under uh, the mirror modifier, so this so that we don't have a seam running <coughs> in that mirror position. Okay, so let's start working with this um, bed cover covering. You can scale this reference image a bit. Now uh, we can start with a plane. <coughs> I will just use a mirror modifier for this. And mirror. So let's talk about let's talk more about 3D models. I don't know. Just need to add a few loops. For this we can um let's add I don't know. Add this, a few more subdivisions there. Turn on proportional editing. Let me bring this image here. UV, UV image editor. Image editor, bring this here. I can select this. Turn on proportional editing. So we need a few loops here as well. And then for those wrinkles, you just need to add cuts like this maybe another one in here and there you can let's first turn off proportional editing push that in like that and uh, if you turn on subsurf you can start uh, seeing those wrinkles come in also need one around here can also use Alt S to push uh, that in. So yeah, if you want to sell 3D models, let's talk about what sells. What kind of models sell? To be honest, to be honest with you, uh, it's really all, all over the place. That's why you see that uh, the kind of models I make are also all over the place. Uh, you can really never, it's really hard to know what is going to sell and uh, why it is selling because uh, everyone is buying 3D models for different reasons. Uh, others are just doing it to get, to make, a, to make a simple image render. Others are just trying to make a movie uh, and they need a, spe a specific uh, item and uh, yeah, but uh, most people who want 
to start th uh, selling 3D renders, uh, they usually want to begin by selling game assets, uh, which is something I wouldn't recommend uh, for anyone beginning to make 3D models. Uh, you would think that uh, they would sell more, but uh, there is a reason that why I don't think they sell more than... Uh, they do sell more, but uh, for a beginner, you may not... It would be... It would, I wouldn't encourage you to begin uh, that way. Uh, because before you make any 3D model, you need to uh, get... You need to know why anyone w would want to buy that 3D model. And uh, the reason why I make the 3D models I make, you can see uh, there, there's, there are a lot of day-to-day -day assets that are there, uh, a lot of electronic assets, appliances. And uh, because this... When, uh, when someone is making the most uh, scenes you're going to see people uh, still image uh, scenes you're going to see people rendering are uh, home images uh, HVs renders and uh, did this HVs renders uh, just day-to-day -day, uh, scenes which I will uh, need day-to-day -day models like appliances. So if you're rendering a kitchen scene, you go, you're obviously going to need uh, kitchen appliances. If you're going to render a bed scene, are you going to need uh, home, home furniture? Home furniture, you're going to need uh, beds, you're going to need uh, th uh, things like that. Let me make a cut here. Uh, that's why you see that uh, I only make I make mostly these types of uh, renders, and uh, they they're selling well. Uh, so <coughs> the reason I would not recommend game assets is that uh, most people who are who are building games they're not just looking for random assets. They're looking for a a specific uh, style, uh, a specific uh, design. Uh, if if they are going for realism, uh, maybe th they can. Uh, th th there's a lot of th there's a lot that goes into uh, game assets uh, that you may not really be able to. And they, when they are buying, they don't usually buy one model. They bu they buy packs. They buy uh, model packs. So if they want, if they are, if someone is making a uh, a shooting game. They don't just go around looking for guns, uh, gun models to buy, uh, because you don't want to just buy any model you find of a gun, uh, because it may not fit uh, the style you're going for. Uh, some t you can see, look at uh, a game like Fortnite, uh, the, can the kind of art style they are using. You can see their guns are not realistic. I uh, look at the game, a game like PUBG. Uh, their art style is different. So, the, so if Fortnite was trying to buy models, they would look for an artist with a with a with an asset collection uh, that fits uh, the style they have. And uh, if someone is modeling a game uh, for, if someone was making a game like uh, PUBG, uh, they would look for someone who has assets that fit uh, their art style, which is more kind of realistic art style. And uh, so you would think that uh, every asset that uh, that uh, falls under that category might might work for them, but not exactly. Uh, because then you have to look at uh, the optimization. Uh, they have to have at least the same optimization. And uh, that's why most people who buy game assets buy by collections uh, because if they know that uh, they're going to buy from one person who if they learn uh, their style if they know how their models are packaged how their naming works how their everything works how their texturing works uvs how uh, they can just follow that structure with uh, the number of models they have bought maybe they bought uh, 20 models in one pack uh, they they will know that uh, this artist is going to use the same naming style the, the same texturing the same materials the same everything 
in that style, which is usually not not something you are going to do in uh, when you're beginning out. You can see I'm a I don't call myself an expert, but I'm no, I'm also not uh, your average uh, beginner uh, because I've been doing this for quite a while. Uh, but still, I don't name my models uh, that well. I I don't follow uh, the recommended standards uh, that 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 much because I'm still learning and uh, I don't want to go into the habit of just. I don't. I just want to create things and don't worry about uh, the technical bits of it. So, and uh, so far, my clients haven't complained about that yet, uh, which is a good thing because uh, I I don't feel like naming it these things. It would take me a lot of time to uh, to to name everything that I make. You know what? I'm going to cut this part here because sometimes my OBS stops recording and uh, doesn't save the project so just to be safe let me stop here thank you